1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Erugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on, I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Osean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. The world was screwed. 20 years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erugia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erugia went from being a republic back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erugian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye.
I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arugia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out and set the dogs on me. Eruja has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN Peacekeeping Force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Eruja are currently appearing throughout Yuzhen. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, Fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority.
Mage Squadron, sortie, ASAP. The current target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. But, uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep. Mage 2, locked. Mage 2, target destroyed. Intercept! Fire the AA! Popping off now, Trigger. The war has officially begun. Target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. But, uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep.
That's a miss. Bandit is in my sights. Do we really have interceptors? They're still pounding us. don't just affect your field of vision. They also mess with your HUD and radar. The Seekers can sometimes lose their lock-on to their targets, too. Column 3, Fox 2. Two targets remaining. That radar was just about to go online. We pushed the plan forward too fast. The base was too far from Allied territory. shows no sign of retreating. Continue. Take it out. Firing. Continue with the mission. Crush as many as you can. Wait, so you want us to take down the enemy without damaging any public facilities? That's gonna be a circus. Being 
locked onto. formation in the clouds. Gollum 2, the enemy's reading you. H2, missile launch. Gollum 2, Fox 2. Ammunition 0. I've got him in my sights. Zero. Missile. Break! Break! Missile. Break. The aircraft is icing up. I'm getting a warning. Get out of the clouds. The ice will melt. Missile. 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 He escaped into the clouds! Missile. Box Missile. 2! Missile. Missile. I'm on this one's tail! Missile. Takes down an enemy. There's a bar I want to try. You're doing good. 
are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTB. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. I don't know. Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. When you shoot, someone gets killed. The guys in charge take care of the rest. Target is on rails, but they're still... You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. The surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier Kestrel II was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel II is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Farbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. 
The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenberg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new, advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone, MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive Arsenal Birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. Mage Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Refueling initiated. Maintain your current position. 100. Trigger. Maintain your current approach. Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other bases squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage Squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Mage One, we'll go. Mage 1 to Gollum 1. Thank your lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys that we get wet wild and do dirty, dirty things. Once you hit one of them, stick to him like glue. Don't let him out of your sights, even in the clouds. And so, your first hunting season begins. Enemy reinforcements. I don't like these odds. Missile. Missile. 
Sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Woohoo! I haven't even broken a sweat. They have to be crazy to pick a fight with us. A rabid dog would know better. Missile incoming! Invade! Break! Break! Wait, break. Break Wait. what the hell? Caution! Missile! Caution! A large aircraft is approaching. All aircraft stay alert. Missile. 
area immediately. Brilliant observation. If they'd noticed earlier, more of us would have survived to hear it. Save your chatter for the debriefing. Gollum and Mage Squadron, give our allies some time to escape. We'll go, but Gollum 2 is hit. Gotta send her back. Let's get dirty, Trigger. Shoot down those UAVs. Don't let them touch any friendlies. Gollum 2, head back to base. Gargoyle 1, escort Gollum 2. Continuing the mission. Still got my wings. Trigger doesn't need to fill in for me. I'm back and I- You won't make any difference up here. Get back to base and cool your head. Copy that. Returning home. That's it, Trigger. They're machines. Don't show them any mercy. Golem 1, enemy on your tail. Not on my watch. Locked on hostile. Targeting gun range. Retreating aircraft. Leave the AO. Allies will hold off pursuit. Golem squadron, mage squadron, hang in there and come back safe. Mage two, UAV down. Shake him off. I'm glued to this one. Target lock. Firing. This is where we lost. More UAVs spotted. Gargoyle Squadron, they might cut off your retreat. My status is fine. Affirmative. This is Gargoyle 1. Leaving Operation Airspace with Gollum 2. Retreating aircrafts. Prepare for combat. It's a bogey. Gargoyle 1, Gollum 2, engage now. Attack. One bandage. This is 30. Gargoyle 1, caution! Missile! It's like Skykeeper, Gargoyle 1 lost. What the hell? Gollum 2, status report. <sighs> Just talk to me. I'm against an SU-30. Orange wingtips. I can't shake it off. It's matching me move for move. Gollum 2, stop dogfighting and run. <sighs> Getting a little tight. Missed. Stall warning. Stall warning. That a boy, Mage 2. Target Just keep down. firing. Nicely done. Mage Squadron, you're going toe to toe with the UAVs. Good work. Mage 2, UAV down. Keep it up, buddy. Four great aircraft. We'll let you take it easy next time. I'm dead meat. <laughs> I don't get it. Why isn't it opening fire? I'm scared. I'm scared. This is not good. Brownie, break off. Don't think, focus. UAV down. Gollum and Maid Squadron, help us. Get those UAVs off of friends. Let Gollum and Maid Squadrons handle it. They'll pull through. Get your asses out. That's it, baby. Come to Don't puppy. There. Maid Squadron, get those things off my ass. I'm tied up now. Trigger, can you help them? Locked. Take 
done, Mage 2. I knew you'd be back. Stand by for further orders. Be ready for your next sortie. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other bases... Unfortunately, the two-front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel 2 was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. <laughs> 